Good evening, baby. And welcome to the Charlie Show. Tonight I'm gonna be short. This is your girl Shaquana coming to you loud, live and in color. Hey, my people. Hey, my people. Today I am coming to you with the part two of my opinion about the B Love and Q drama. Because there's a lot that I did not say in my first video, but my second video, I got a lot I, I need to talk about. Uh, first of all, um, I did touch on this subject in my last video with Q calling Darius a queen. And y'all know I said that when you call a man this derogatory word, you are insinuating that you know his sexuality. She don't know his sexuality, okay? That's number one. Number two, by calling him a queen and people knowing that this young man is beloved son, you don't know what homophobic, ignorant fool is going to see him. And because of you calling him a queen, you is putting him in jeopardy. You putting him in jeopardy. You putting him in a line of fire. You putting him in a line of harm that is unneeded and is unwanted. And this young man could lose his life because you sat up on camera and called this this young man, this 17-year-old, a queen. Words like that incite violence, hate, bigotry. And you don't feel bad about it. Um, I don't understand... Now, now, let me say this. You have the right to feel the way that you feel. But this ain't about how you feel. This is about the fact that she sat up on camera and she just told a bunch of lies. You put your sister in the middle of it. And you did this. And for what? I don't understand it. I don't get it. You put your sister in the middle of this. And I don't fault your sister at all. But you as a grown woman need to take responsibility for the things that you've said. For the things that you've done. You tried to hurt this entire family. You sat up on camera and you and you and you tried to tarnish an image. You tried to tarnish a family. You tried to destroy a family. And like I said in my first video, you are making the black community look bad. You are making it look like black folks can't work together. You making it look like black folks can't play together, can't laugh together, can't do nothing together. And if you felt the way that you felt, you should have talked to beloved. You should have called her. Matter of fact, before you left, you should have talked to her. That's what you should have done. You should have talked to her. You, We should not have never known about this situation and you want to try to put it in this little bow this little bowl of these are your feelings okay i'm not gonna touch on your feelings your experience but you told a bunch of lies now you sitting on camera trying to cry and play victim and i'm not gonna get in the bashing Scenario. I'm not going to get into all of that because that's not who I am. That's not what I do. But as a woman, you need to call Be Love. You need to talk to Be Love. You know, not Be Love. You need to talk to Bethany. 
okay? You need to talk to Bethany. And yes, y'all are old enough to call her Bethany, okay? She's not my elder, okay? But um, you need to talk to Bethany. That's what you need to do. You need to talk to her. You need to reach out and apologize. And if you are remorseful for what you did, if you feel bad for what you've done, you need to first of all apologize to her and you need to be sincere about your apology also you need to take the take the videos down if you are so sincere about your apology you need to take the videos down like seriously because it is not cool that you sat there and you done and, and you did that and yeah, you are losing subscribers by the minute. Um, and it's shameful that you did this on camera. This should have been left private. We, you, the YouTube community, bump the mukbang community, bump that. Care less about the mukbang community right now. I'm just talking about the YouTube content creator community right now because. This has put a stain on us. You made everybody look bad. It's, it's, this is just not right. If you feel bad, if you sincerely, down deep, feel bad, just apologize and take the videos down. Now, if you don't feel bad, keep them up and don't even reach out to them. But what you call Darius, you call what you call that man, that young man was wrong. What you said about him, it was wrong. Um, you put his life in jeopardy. He was wrong for that. These are just my opinion. This is just my opinion, how I feel, and my thoughts on this whole situation because it's messed up. People were dragged into the middle of it. They make no sense. It's 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 just wrong. But hey, I just hope this whole thing just dies down real soon. But if y'all, if you made it to the end of my video, put YouTube Drama Part 2 in the comment section. Give me those big thumbs up. Get this video to 800 likes, 800 views. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell twice to be notified. If you're an old subscriber, make sure notifications are on. Share all my videos. Like I always say, have fun playing with your nails. If you wear nails or if you're growing your own. Have some playing with your makeup. If you wear makeup or you just learning how to use it, y'all, please do like because God only gives you one. Bye.